I think it's, it's still early on in the season. I was proud of our, our resolve tonight. Um, they would go on a run, and then we would go down and execute our offense and get a good shot and score, get to the free throw line. Um, we're still turning the ball over too much. Uh, and, you know, once we shore that up and get rid of that and start executing a little bit better offensively, um, I think we're going to be a handful. We're going to be, you know, tough to deal with. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I guess to answer your question a little bit, but, um, you know, that's a good team. They got a lot of talent on that team. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just proud of our ability to, to get that lead and, and maintain it uh, and hold on to it. Extra chip on the shoulder because they beat you last week? Yeah, kind of. I mean, it was an early season loss. One that, to be honest with you, I wasn't too um, mad about. I kind of... I kind of like having those kind of losses just because it gives us really good fuel as coaches. Like good clips to show them, good points to make, good reasons that we're doing this in practice and things like that, um, which really helps. And I, the one point I tried to make to the team all week was, what kind of team are you going to be? Are you going to be, be a team that has a capacity for improvement? Or are you just going to be a team that plays in the D-League and just exists? Uh, and I think today you saw a team that is willing to improve and make sacrifices to, you know, develop chemistry with their teammates. You mentioned uh, L.A. is a tough team. Well, what is it about them that makes them tough? Uh, you know, I think Casey's done a, a good job um, instilling more of a defensive mindset for them. Um, the years past, they haven't really been the most uh, structured defensively. Uh, and this group plays pretty sound defense. Um, it's a little aggressive for my taste, but it still disrupts a lot of our, our actions and forces turnovers. I mean, hey, two games we've had, what, 20, 45 turnovers? We had 24 last game, 21 this game. So um, that's one thing I've noticed that's a little different. But, you know, Vander Bloom, Manny Harris, Josh Majette coming back is huge for them. I mean, that kid's – He's just a, a phenomenal point guard. I mean, having a pass first point guard in the D League is, we had it last year with Aaron. I mean, uh, that's huge. So, it's, they're a difficult team to deal with. And then, you know, they got stretch fours now with Justin Harper and uh, Justin, uh, what's his name, uh, Hawkins, who, who had a pretty good game. So, they're like a couple pieces away from being contenders, I think. They shot 38 three pointers. Did you expect that? And how do you game plan against that? They're a run and gun team. You know, I think the most important thing you can do is make sure that when Majet gets into the paint, you know he's not looking to score. Um, and if he does, he looks to score probably 25% of the time. You know, every time he gets into the paint, you can see him. He's, he's probing, trying to pull defenders with him, looking for open shooters on the perimeter. So it's really important that, you know, we recognize that and build back out to shooters. Um, and then second chances. I mean, I think they had 15 offensive rebounds tonight, and that really hurts us because the, be the best time to shoot a three, everyone says it, is after an offensive rebound. Swing, swing, it's in rhythm. There's no one in front of you. Shoot it. Uh, I think they had a couple of those tonight. Um, but the most important thing is just contesting, boxing out, and, and, and getting the ball. He only scored two points, but was this the best 16-minute, 59-second performance for Anthony Barine you've ever seen? Absolutely. He was absolutely phenomenal. He did a heck of a job. <laughs> what, can you describe uh, in detail his, you know, his performance against Upshaw specifically then? Yeah, you know, I think Robert's got a lot of buzz around him mm -hmm. uh, right now, and I think Robert is definitely someone that everyone's going to be looking at just because of his size. I mean, he's 7'1". And he's got arms that like, he could tie a shoe without bending over, you know. So um, he's a he's one heck of a of a prospect, and uh, he's young, and this is a new level for him. Um, and he had a tough game tonight. He couldn't finish around around the basket. Av did a really good job staying vertical and, and making his life difficult. He's a hard guy to move now. I'll tell you that. Um, but you know, it's uh, we're gonna have some battles against that team. You know, that's, Number two out of six, we got to play them four more times. So, it'll be a fun year. <laughs>